Good morning, YouTube. Um, it's Tuesday morning. It's pretty early, and I was just laying here in bed. I'm still in bed. Um, couldn't bring myself to get out <laughs> quite yet, but I did want to make a video, and I'm sorry if this disappoints a lot of you. It's not going to be the typical Tuesday grocery finds video. Um, <clears throat> My husband and I have had a new grocery shopping schedule and we go shopping together and I don't always remember to take the time to look for new grocery finds so I didn't happen to pick up anything really new this week. I do have a couple of good recipe ideas that maybe I'll share later on. Um, but I was laying here in bed like I do a lot of times. My husband gets up early and leaves for work and I will watch YouTube videos. I will get out my iPod and just lay here and watch people's updates. And so this morning I happened to watch um, a video that Banded Wendy made about what made you fat. What made her fat. And in the video she was saying, you know, it would be kind of cool if other people would want to make video responses on what made you fat. And so I was just laying here thinking about it and watching her video and listening to her story and it's so different from mine. It's so very different and I know that everyone's going to have really different stories and and I just, I wanted to share mine. Mine's more of an emotional um, reason, I believe. And you know, I don't think I even now fully understand what it is emotionally that causes me to eat. I mean, until I do understand that, I don't think that I will fully, um, I'll still always have that worry that I could gain it back because I don't really know exactly what it is. I mean, I couldn't pinpoint the exact emotion that causes me to want to overeat or to eat something that's bad for me. Um, but I do know that I am an emotional eater, but I am, I'm kind of the opposite of what a lot of, of a lot of people are. I eat when I am, um, happy. <laughs> a lot of people eat when they're sad or upset or distraught or stressed about something. I am the exact opposite. I, um... Well, I shouldn't say that all the time. There's a few exceptions to that rule for me. But um, most of the time, when I'm happy and I want to celebrate something, I will celebrate with food. Or if I feel like I've accomplished something and um, I deserve a treat, it'll be a food treat. That is something that I do know for sure that I do. And I have, since I've had surgery, been able to control that. That, that was easy because... Eating when you're happy is easy to replace with another kind of reward um, because you're happy. You're not you're not reaching for food to fill any type of void or anything like that. It's just it's like a celebration, and I did use food in that way, and I don't I don't do that anymore at all. Um, <laughs> you might hear my baby on the baby monitor here behind me. He's probably gonna wake up soon, but. Um, the main reason why I gained my weight, and I have slowly figured this out over the last couple years, and I figured it out actually before I had weight loss surgery, um, but at the point that I figured it out, I was already, I felt too far gone, um, to be able to, to get the weight off by myself. I knew I needed the help. I needed the weight loss surgery tool to help me because I just felt like like it was hopeless. There was too much weight to lose. It was just this this impossible um, it was too big for me to handle. So um, I, I believe at some point um, you know I had a happy childhood. I, I grew up in a family with both parents, you know, their marriage was intact. It still is. My parents have been married forever. <laughs> um, and they've always been there for me. Um, I have a sister who's eight years older than I am. And, um, you know, we always, 
we had a good life. We, there was no trauma. There was no obesity does not run in my family. Um, there was no like none of that. If you don't eat fast, you don't eat kind of thing. My husband's family kind of had that. He came from a large, large family, lots of children. And if you didn't eat fast, you didn't eat. I didn't have that problem. Um, I don't think I'm a particularly fast eater. Um, I don't know. I mean, my mom wasn't like this incredible cook. I mean, I hopefully she won't watch this and get mad, but she cooked just like any average mom, I guess. She made the typical meals and it was for the most part pretty healthy. Um, and my weight didn't start to pile on until I actually left my parents' house and moved out on my own. I started going to beauty school, to beauty college, and got an apartment with my best friend. <clears throat> and um, I, I met someone uh, at that point who I started dating and um, I fell in love like really quick. And um, yeah, it was a really interesting time in my life. It was. I think the start of my my real weight gain. I mean, I was big in high school. I was chunky. I but I did play sports and um, I was a tennis player. I liked to swim. Um, I was on the cross country team mainly because I liked to lift weights and I could do that. <laughs> I wasn't into running, but the weight gym was where cross country would practice, and so I would go in and lift weights and whatever. Um, but anyway, I was really active, but I was still chunky. Um, but nothing way out of control. I mean, nothing that wasn't like an average teenager, really. So, um, so out of high school, and I can't even remember my weight, but, but you know, I was okay with myself. I wasn't disgusted and felt fat all the time. There were times when I'd go out and I felt like I looked really good and yeah, it was just like average, I think. Just slightly overweight average. So I met this guy um, once we'd moved out on our own, my friend and I. And um, he and I started seeing each other. And everything happened so fast. And we got pregnant with my first son. Um, and... We were excited. I mean, I was only 19 years old and found myself pregnant. Um, but I was a responsible 19 year old. You know, I lived on my own. I paid my own bills. Um, my parents didn't give me money or anything like that. I was making my own money and, you know, forging my own way in life. And I had a great career opportunity that I was working on and everything was good. And so found myself pregnant and I loved this guy that I was with and he said he wanted to marry me and everything was great. Life was good, right? And so, you know, seven months later, um, I had my son. He was born early, premature by two months. And it was like from that day, everything crashed. Everything crashed and burned. Um, which is really sad because it should have been like the happiest time of my life and it wasn't. And it was all because I found out that my husband to be, my fiance had been cheating on me. Um, and I didn't even know how long it had been going on. And I won't go into details about how I found out. I mean, it was just a very, very traumatic occurrence. <laughs> Um, my baby was in the hospital for two weeks because he, you know, couldn't, um, he needed assistance with breathing and he needed to be in an incubator to keep him warm because he was little. And so I was back at home in my little apartment and my fiance was now gone because obviously, you know, he had cheated and I kicked him out. So <laughs> I was by myself after having this baby with no baby and no man. It was 
was the hardest time of my life, um, really, by far. And I don't know, but I think at that point something triggered in my brain and, and from that point on I've always had this fear of people leaving me. And I just started to use food. Um, because I didn't understand why he left me. I didn't understand why he cheated. Um, I never knew, you know, why wasn't I good enough for him? And if I wasn't good enough for him, then how would I ever be good enough for anyone? And so I would use food and I put on this layer of fat to, to blame that on. Because if I was fat, then someone could, if someone left me, then that was why. It was because I was fat. Um, if someone didn't like me, well, it's because I was fat. If I didn't want to go do something or couldn't do something, it was because I was fat. It became the reason, it became something that I could blame everything on. Anything that wasn't going well in my life, I could always blame it on being fat. Um, I destroyed many relationships after that because I was miserable with myself. I was not happy and I had this, this fear that just kept bubbling up. Every time I would start a new relationship with somebody and it would start out really great and I'd be happy and, and again, I would like, I would start to lose weight because I'd be all excited and happy and I'd feel like a fresh start and so I would start shedding that weight but as soon as something happened in the relationship that would make me worry that he was about to leave I would pack on 40 pounds or 60 pounds 80 pounds you know I would just pack it back on to protect myself so that when he left I could say well it's because I got fat it's because I was fat that's all it wasn't because I was a miserable person. It wasn't because I was unhappy with myself or, you know, it wasn't because of anything else. It was just because I was fat. Um, so I really honestly think that fat and being fat and gaining my weight was a messed up, like, protection that I thought. It was something that I thought was keeping me safe. And it wasn't. Um, so, my relationship with food is a weird one. Um, on the one hand, like I told you earlier, I eat, I like to eat when I'm happy and to celebrate and for comfort. And I've learned not to do that anymore. That was easy. Um, but I still struggle on a daily basis with just, I mean, my protection's gone now. It's gone. There's no reason. Um, if my husband never left me, I wouldn't have that excuse anymore. It's scary. It scares the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Um, if someone doesn't like me now, it's not because I'm fat. It's because there's something about me they don't like, you know, and I have to just face that. And that's hard for me for some reason because I am one of those people that I just want everyone to like me. I just want everyone to like me. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's my story. It's way different from Behinded Wendy's, and I'm sure it's different than a lot of yours, but um, I wanted to share it, and I think that, you know, it's good to share this type of story. It's good to revisit why you got fat in the first place, because I'd forgotten that I had those feelings, and, you know, well, it's not fun to think about your past and, and bad things or 
negativity um, you don't want to forget where you came from because it's how you got here and without all of that bad stuff and the negativity you wouldn't be so strong um, you wouldn't be the person you are so I am a firm believer that everything happens for a reason and my life is what it is and it's not pretty and there's been a lot of hard things that I've had to deal with but everyone has that um, everyone's got something baggage you know whatever you want to call it so. anyway I'm gonna go I need to get up and get ready for my day um, but it was nice to wake up with you guys and share my story and I encourage all of you to do the same make a video tell me why you got fat um, you can either post it as a response to this video, you can repost it as a, as a response to Banded Wendy's video that she just made, and share it with us, because I think it's important, and um, maybe we can all learn something about ourselves even by watching your story. So, alright everybody, have a great rest of the week, and oh, I'm sorry I didn't make a weigh-in update on Friday, but um, I'd gained like a couple ounces, and in my book that's kind of... It's kind of like a stalemate so I didn't think it was important to make a video I'll probably only make a weigh-in video if I have a significant gain or a significant loss meaning a pound or more either way so um, but otherwise I'm pretty much the same couple couple ounces up that's about it all right okay so we'll talk to you guys later hope you didn't hopefully you're not gonna revolt and and miss grocery finds too terribly I will try to find something for you guys soon okay talk to you later